at 8.46. A few minutes later, he was walking to the feed room. He's texting a friend and reads his last text at 8.48.59. Seconds later, the first shot is fired. At 8.49.01, his phone is forever locked and never used again. Blood drips from Paul's left arm as he staggers to the door. The gunman, thinking he had killed Paul with the first shot, goes to get his other weapon, but is shocked when he senses Paul by the door. A second earlier, Maggie at 8.49 reads her last text and is interrupted by the sound of gunfire. She turns to run back. The gunman grabs his gun and runs towards Maggie. As she approaches, she sees Paul on the ground, but the gunman stops her. Let's rewind this so we can see the pathologist's report. Now let's circle around and see the path of the bullets. Here we see the two entrant wounds, one here and another here. Circling around to the back, we can see those exit wounds. Now we can see those wounds, one here and the other here. Continuing on to the last illustration, we can see how she was shot in an upward direction, the bullet going through her breast and into the head as noted in the diagram.